Berettas can be boring. This one is not. This is the limited edition muzzle loading Beretta to mark their third centenary. Let's have a look. Even in the polystyrene, you have Army Beretta in the top. Yeah, that's just classy as you like. 40 years old, not today. But uh, here she is. What, 5099. I don't know where I'm advertising this. I really like this. So, uh, let's get it all out of the box and show you what we've got. Ooh, a thing. Another thing. So before we look at the gun, it's worth looking at some of the accessories. You have shot and powder flasks, Beretta branded shot and powder flasks, and you must admit that's a pretty sweet looking thing. You have, I think somewhere there'll be a cap dispenser, jags, spare rod, there's your cap dispenser, You've got all sorts of stuff. You can all imagine, water cutter. This is a really sweet little machine and setup get you going in any form to start shooting a muzzle loader. And if you're gonna start shooting a muzzle loader, you might as well start with a Beretta one. There are some really nice and very, very sweet all the guns out there, I should say, but there are not as many reproductions that are as cool as this. So to mark the Beretta third centenary back in 1980, they produced this 1680 Pietro Beretta Gardone. 1980 on there, that front ring's moved back a little bit. You have a metal butt plate, color hardened. A little bit of engraving on the back there. A little bit of engraving, not machine. Oh, it is machine, sorry. Rolled. You have your action block, your barrel. It is an over and under configuration, which is quite sweet. You have, strangely, a raised rib all the way along it with your silver inlaid writing. You have two color hardened barrel bands keeping your three-part stock in place. A raised cheek piece, trigger tang, very tall hammers with a canthus carving, sling frivel front and back, and a side-fitted ramrod um, with 30-inch, like I said, brown barrels with a little bead sight on the front. The first thing I'll say about this gun is that it is not well finished. I mean, and certain that, certainly parts of that is signs of the times, because back in 1980 there weren't very many good reproduction arms about, so this was actually very good by comparison to others. It does kind of upset me, the fact they went to all the effort of making this, that they wouldn't put just a little bit of extra effort in, in some of the finishing. But, that's by the by, and I wasn't there. And to be fair, some of the things like the polyurethane lacquer and all that is just classic not of the time. Beretta, you little oval underneath that says third centenary of Beretta. So the coolest thing about this gun is that you can use it. You can take your over and under 30 inch Beretta. When people ask you, oh, I've just got old Beretta over and under 30 inch job. 30 inch game gun, that's even better. And take it and go and shoot clays, go and shoot game and just really truly enjoy it. This gun has never been used. So was it, would it be a bad example? It's only booked at 300 to 500 quid. I'm very tempted to put an offer, uh, a bid in on it. I will put a bid in on it. I feel like it will sell for more than that. Please don't bid a lot if you're going to bid on it so I have a chance of winning. <laughs> but what an amazing gun. A piece of collectible, usable history. And even if it wasn't, it actually, for all of its sins, comes up all right. Like, you can imagine, whack, whack shooting it and really thoroughly enjoying yourself. Like, and it puts a smile on your face before you've pulled the trigger. Is it gonna be great with steel? Probably not. So best buy it now and use it before we have to change. Alternatively, put a business through it. You're not gonna be shooting it at a high rate of knots, are you? If it wasn't such a collectible, you know, you'd feel almost the urge to refinish it into an, an oiled finish and replace the barrel bands with, with less cheapy ones, or at least put something in place, pin them so they're not quite so flexible. 
or you just go out and shoot it and enjoy your beautiful Beretta and then get someone else to clean it for you. What a wicked piece of kit that is. Not overly rare. I mean, I think they made hundreds, not thousands, but hundreds instead of tens. What a special thing. I genuinely can't stop smiling when looking at it. If you do buy this gun, please let me play with it. The end. I only want it once, maybe twice, to go and have a play with. It is awesome. Guys, thank you very much for watching. The coolest Beretta you will see, if not one of the rarest to see, the most unusual Beretta you'll ever see. There you go, that's a better title. Guys, hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. Thanks for Holtz for letting us play with this. And um, please, if I don't win it and someone else does, let's, let's, ha let's have a go. If, if you don't want to just keep it as a boring old collectible, this is designed to be used. Have a great day.